So since this is my, um, well, what is it? It's, it's a channel for everything about me uh, and you. If you want to contribute, that's fine. But I want to talk about pain, uh, specifically my pain. Uh, I, if you know me, I have back problems. So we're, we're gonna. Oh yes, yeah, so don't don't mind the photo, the eye stock, whatever. It's the only thing I could find to demonstrate. Uh, you know, whatever. So it was done in paint, by the way. I know, awesome. So about six years ago, I was in uh, an old house. Well, my old house. Well, it was two old houses before then. So it was a house that I grew up in, and six years, about six years ago, I was uh, just coming down the stairs, and I was wearing some slippers. Uh, you should know what they are keep your feet warm. So the problem with these slippers was that they had no grip at the bottom. They had like been worn out. So naturally when I was coming down the stairs, I slipped and I just, I just fell down one stair. I hit one stair and that little did I know then that would cause me extreme pain for six years onwards. So I I fell down one stair. Uh, I, I am bitter about the whole thing, and it was excruciating pain. Absolutely. I I I really don't know how to ex describe it. Really, I mean it's. It's one of the, worst pains I've ever felt in my life. It's it's between that, and burst appendix. Uh, those two things were the most painful that I've ever experienced. So I, I fell on this one stair and then um, I, I can't sit, I, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm in tremendous pain. So we go to the doctors. The doctors said, like, I, I, I hit my coccyx and that's like smashed into my other tailbone. And it's like fused it or whatever. It's just like smashed into it and it's not going to unlock for the time being. He said it should go within a month or so. So I have, well, it obviously didn't. So I have a pain uh, in this area uh, on the screen. Yes, done with them as paint. So I have pain in that area. And I, you know, it's it's very problematic with sitting it's usually is usually sitting and you know stuff like that that really wasn't my main source of pain uh is early no later on that it would become worse but i was adapting to my new well way of life i, I don't i don't even know what that noise was so i was adapting to, you know, trying to relieve the back, you know, doing like little exercises. My mother was going to a chiropractor for hair treatment, so she sent me off to go for the chiropractor. And she, you know, she told me to do all this stuff, and I, I, I did it. And, you know, th it was manageable. It was manageable pain. And about four years ago, I got quite, quite ill. And I was, it was non-stop coughing and sneezing. And that managed to dislodge some ribs in my upper back. And I now have pain on there as well. It's on the screen. So I have, I, I now have lower back pain and upper back pain. And the upper back pain is 10 times worse than the lower back pain could ever be. So I've been dealing with that for about four years now. And you know, that that sucks because bending is no you can't I can't bend. I can't I can't really do anything without pain these days now. Um so you know 
I've been, I've been managing that uh, not very well, obviously. But about three weeks ago, I've got even worse, and just under my ribs, uh, it's on the screen there, I have pain there as well, and that is absolutely excruciating. I, I, I really don't know what I've done. I've gone from manageable to horrible to, like, excruciating. And, you know, it got me thinking, you know, I've lived with this for, like, six years, and I've realised how depressing it is. You know, I've gone six years, six years plus, without, without one day of not feeling not feeling normal you know not feeling good i haven't gone one day without without pain and you know it, it really does suck and i i you know i i i've in the past you know i've been looking you know on the you know try to keep positive you know when i with my first lower back it was manageable and you know i people tell me you know uh you, you know it does suck, but, you know, there are some people worse off than you, and, you know, back then, I'm like, yeah, 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 no, I know, it could be worse. And then, when my, when I was ill, and my upper back problems started to happen, they, 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 all these are still persisting, you know, people, you know, yeah, it does suck, but still, people have, you know, some people are in worse situations. And, you know, at that point, I really didn't want to hear it. Um, but, you know, I tried to keep positive. But now, since my other, my third problem area, now, it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's sort of like the pain's winning over my mood. It's like, yeah, people are in a worse situation. But honestly, now, it's just like, who gives a fuck about them? You know, I don't know them. I'm dealing with me constantly in pain. You know, it's like, fuck them. And it's it's a horrible thing because the worse I get, the more pills I have to take and the more money I have to spend just to try and feel somewhat normal. And it's, it's not working. And I... I I don't know. <laughs> you know, what do you... What do you do when you go to bed knowing that you're going to be in pain when you wake up the next day? I don't know. I I honestly don't know how to cope with it anymore really. I don't know. Just have to spend more money for more treatment. Money that I'm running out of. You know, I guess at least I can hold on to that for the time being. You know, I'm not... I'm not in the shitter yet. And hopefully not, but... You know, what was if I ever get to that stage where... I can't afford... I can't afford... You know, chiropractic treatments, I can't... I, it's even more depressing thinking about it, but... I don't know. I I honestly thought that you know the pain would be gone. I'm I'm utterly useless. I've had to have people come and evaluate me to get me all well, this like special equipment just so I can, you know, sit and you know, prepare food and wash the dishes and all that. 
you know, I'm applying to get a shower and a handrail because I can't do fuck all. You know, it's a young cripple, isn't it? You know, I... It, it sucks. And I don't know where to go from here, really. It's just... More treatment, more pills. And just hope that the pain becomes manageable. Not like it is now. But I would like to know... What would you do... If you know that every day you woke up, the pain wasn't going to be gone. I don't know. It is slightly depressing, but... I don't know, I feel the pain is sort of taking over me. Uh, it, it's the top back. If if those, if those two areas could just go, life would be so much easier. So much easier. But four years with the upper back, and now three weeks with the mid back is just. It's, it's unbearable, really. Just take us, you know, well, well, we'll see what happens. But, you know, thanks for listening to my vent. I don't know what you would call it, but. I don't know. Hopefully, things will get better, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, and much love.